Hey guys, so we went out to the Florida Horse Park yesterday and did the Notting Hill Jumper Show that Chris Barnard set. Took um, Archie and jumped him in the meter 20. We took Polo and jumped him in the meter 15. And then I had Kurt there and jumped him around the, I guess he jumped around the meter class. So um, just thought you might like to take a look at them. The two, the first two, Archie and Polo, they're going to be going to Chattahoochee this weekend, so it was a good little tune-up for them. And I think Kurt is going to be running the first part of June, <coughs> excuse me, doing another novice. So, anyway, we had a great time, and hope you enjoy the videos. So the first horse you're going to see me jumping here is Polo, or known in the show ring as Just My Style. He's a seven-year-old Dutch-bred horse, and... One thing you'll see about him as he goes is he is an exceptionally good jumper, but he is a little bit tail swishy, tends to have an opinion about things. Um, but all in all, I was really pleased with him here as we went around the track. We had the vertical here, and then it was a little bit of a moving seven up the line here to that oxer, and then had a nice long gallop um, around the turn here. And then this was quite a spooky fence coming up here to the vertical, and then it was nine strides on the bend to an oxer found that one a little bit open so had to stretch up here and um, lost me behind the horse a little bit but had his nice jump there and then this next line i'd say was probably the most influential line you had a two stride of verticals and then it was a pretty open seven to an oxer here for polo but you see over to the right side of the screen there you also had the option of jumping a liverpool so Polo and Archie, who's next, both jump that oxer, but you'll see later uh, the young five-year-old horse, Kurt, he actually, I go jump the Liverpool on him because um, I think it's a good experience for him. So again, coming around now to our last line, this is a one stride, and then again, pretty open five down to the last. But Polo takes care of it, no problem, and I was really pleased with him. Nice double clear round for Polo. All right, so this is Archie, and you'll see there he kind of scoots away. That actually, we just missed fence one. Um, the reason he did that is because I rode like a buffoon and buried him backwards into fence one, and Archie was kind of telling me, hey man, get your stuff together. Um, so there we get that nice seven again, and you'll see as Archie comes by here, he looks like he has quite the bridle on, but it's actually, it's a hackamore with just a bit of happy mouth bit in his mouth. So it's actually quite a light bridle, um, and Archie jumps in that really well. He seems to really enjoy that. He gets quite nice and light and soft. So there we go. We got our nice nine again to the oxer, and now you'll see what I was talking about. Polo has a really big stride. Archie, who is a nine-year-old English sport horse, um, is a little bit more normal strided, I guess I would say. Um, so you'll see this seven here I'm actually reaching for. But he takes care of it, no problem. Such a good jumper. This horse is really, really nice. Um, and he's entered this weekend in the intermediate at Chat Hill. So this was kind of our tune-up for that. There we go. Nice pop over that little oxer. Make the rollback turn inside of those tack shack candy jumps there. And now we get lined up here just trying to get nice and straight and square and i did meet this one a little bit deep on the way in but archie took care of it no problem and another great clear round for archie good boy all right so the last horse i got for you today is kurt fernhill copain known as kurt copain and he is a five-year-old, I think he's Zangershide. I'm really bad at knowing the breeding on these horses, but I think he's Zangershide. So you'll see he's in the meter class here. Archie was in the meter 20. Um, and Kurt's just kind of his second or third time out for me. Five years old, like I said, and so green. And so you see we do the simple changes there. And I'm a big advocate of that. If you're gonna have a horse and teach it to do those changes, you gotta have perfect simple changes first. There's that little spooky jump. And Kurt can get a little bit strong. So you see there, I actually went one more stride. I went 10 strides in that bending line instead of the nine. And I know that seems like a lot of numbers to count, and it probably is, but it gives you an idea of what his length of stride is and just try to keep him a little bit quiet and relaxed and obedient. We have that nice 
two, and then you'll see what I was talking about. We go down and we jump the Liverpool here on Kurt, because I think I want to make sure I know that he's reliable at those Liverpools, and he is. He doesn't care. And there you see I tried the flying change, didn't get it, so then I say, right, buddy, no problem. Back to trot. Nice, simple change. Pop over that. And we did have one down, which is our next fence here. And I thought I had it pretty good. Pretty good shot in, but I ended up getting just a little bit closer than I wanted to. Probably didn't get straight enough soon enough. You can see, I only had like three straight strides, so I'll take the heat for that one. Um, but then he jumped out great. Good boy, Kurt. So there you go. Got the guys all tuned up, ready for the weekend. Um, we'll probably just have a little pop over a couple cross country things, not much, uh, tomorrow morning before we head out first thing Friday a.m. for Chattahoochee. Have a great day.